Well, who needs a sprint lane when you keep producing outstanding peg running drives like Robbie Morris? Taking out the second on the card with Has the Courage, I caught up with Robbie to talk about his chances here on Tuesday afternoon. Well, Robbie, they always say the shortest way home is along the pegs, and you certainly mastered the art of that particular way of driving here at Club Manegle. Perfect drive with Has the Courage. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. It all went to plan. It, um, it helps when you get a sort of few breaks here and there, but I was. Um, I was really pleased with how he let down. He's been showing that he can do that. He's just been probably a little bit unlucky, but yeah, really happy with how he let down tonight. The amazing part of the win, Robbie, was the price. For a horse that's so consistent, showing $20 an outstanding price. Yeah, it was. You know, he's um, he's been racing really good, and you know, it's probably a few others that were probably a little bit classier than him, and he, um, he needed the joy to go with it, so he needed to have a little bit of luck along the way, but I was really pleased with how he let down, and you know, he's been, he's been knocking on the door to do that for a while. Recently you chalked up the 2,000 winners. We've been ticking them off week by week, so that must have been a big thrill. Yeah, it was. You know, look, it's, um, it's been a lot of time and effort and a lot of good trainers and a lot of support from owners and trainers and Kerry and family. And, um, you know, it's not, you know, I know it's me out there on the track, but, you know, there's a lot of things that go into it for me to be as successful and as lucky as I have been. So, um, yeah, it's really good to have got the 2,000 and um, can't worry about that anymore. On to three now. Yeah, we're starting to tick them off. A very strong support team at Lucky Lodge, and you've added another one to the list in Lucas Rando. Yeah, Lucas is coming along really good. He's um, he's like every junior driver. They're always testing the water, and they're, they're trying to find their feet. And um, he's been a welcome addition. He's, he's doing a really good job, and he's getting a few right. He's getting a few wrong, but that's part of learning. So, um, yeah, he's um, he's coming to the team really good. That must be pleasing as far as you're concerned, Robbie, and Kerry Ann. The fact that you've had Josh Gallagher, you've had Alicia Bond, Chloe Formosa, now Lucas Rand. All the youngsters coming through the stable have performed well. Of course, Josh is in elite company. Yeah, that's right. You know, Josh was, um, he was bred to be good, Josh. We, um, there's no secret there. So, you know, he was with me from sort of, I don't look at Josh as a staff member. I more look at him as family. And, you know, all the young kids sort of come along and, and they probably, when they've got the opportunity to learn off Kerry, me and Josh, it's um it's a really good place I think to if I was a young kid to cut your teeth and um yeah look sometimes I'm a bit grumpy in the morning and uh, it's probably Josh is better to talk to so there's always someone to bounce an idea off and um yeah Josh is a credit to himself but I, I don't think me and Josh would be where we are today if it wasn't for Kerry. And at lunchtime and in the afternoon but as far as your 2,000 winners Robbie can you pinpoint one or two little career highlights? Oh look it's um yeah you know, I, I think my uh, consistency across the board every year turning out over 100 winners I I pride myself on that I've done it for 14 or 15 years now and um, you know I think everyone can have a real good year but to consistently be up there I, I sort of run first three in the premiership every year and um, I pride myself on consistency for a lot of people and um, probably early days I, I drove four winners here Breeders Challenge Day uh, I won two group ones I won half the card I think I was only 18, so um, that's a day that will stay with me forever and good memories with, with good people and, um, you know, look, just probably <laughs> got to say has the courage. Every win is important and every win is special. we just got to keep turning them out. The record books show that your father, Peter, had 880 wins, but that was about 10 years prior to his career kicking off, so he's got 10 more years to add on to that particular number, way below yours. Still nowhere near 2,000, so he can come up with every excuse under the sun but um yeah look obviously I was fortunate enough you know to remember him driving when I was younger but he retired pretty early but um yeah look dad was a good driver and he always put me in good footsteps and um you know he told me that you know probably really when you drive in the fence he's probably a lot to to do with that you know when I was a young kid he used to say to me you, you got to know your mathematics you know you got to know how fast they're going you got to know how quick you're going you got to know all those little ins and outs to be able to make ground. So, um, you know, I learned a lot off Dad, obviously, and um, he was a hard mentor. He, I don't know if he was even fair. He was hard, but, um, yeah, look, he, um, he taught me a lot, and I, I can't thank him enough. Let's see if we can keep the countdown now to 3,000 going on Tuesday afternoon. In the second event, Robbie, second to none to be driven by Kerry Ann, going exceptionally well. Three stars for winning two placings, and Monty Monty scored a nice win, a big improvement, but it was a nice win. Yeah, he's been knocking on the door to do that, Monty Monty. All his work at home suggests he's probably pretty classy, but he's also pretty stupid sometimes. He's a typical ba baby boy, especially being a trotter. He's got a mind of his own. But, um, look, if he steps out and does it all right, uh, he's another good chance. But I, I I don't get the chance to drive second to none. Kerry's sort of got that one pretty quick. But she's such a beautiful little trotter. She's bred by Jack, and 
Shirley Primer have been terrific supporters of the industry and mine and Kerry's and um, it's good to see them get a lovely trotter. You know, Shirley loves a trotter and she'll be here on Tuesday having a Chardonnay watching a go around. Over to race two, the uh, trot, I should have said that the opening event was race one with second to none and Monty Monty. Tedesco, well, it, the namesake hasn't had a great week. Can he do better? And also she's a pleasure to be driven by Kerry Ann. Yeah, look, I think um, Tedesco's, you know, he probably, he had to go in the high grade this week. Um, he's been good without being great this time in. We've sort of tinkered around with him a few different times and we're sort of, some weeks we feel like we're getting there and some weeks we feel like we're taking a step back, but he's going good enough. She's a pleasure, it's probably a drop back in grade. Um, I think she's a classy mare when she's right. Just probably took a bit longer than I thought to get her 100% right, but I think she's getting close to it now. So um, as much as I'd love to see Tedesco win, obviously with me driving him, I think she's a pleasure, she's probably the class runner of the race. Over to race three, number four, Larrigan Lenny, if you could make Troy Williams. Now this particular fella has been placed in three of his past four. He hit the line nicely last week, Robbie. Second behind Gun for Hire. Trainer Darren Hancock, and in particular the driver, Will Rickson, so this could be a pretty handy horse. Yeah, look, I think um, Gun for High's got a, plenty of ability. Um, on times-wise, I thought my fella shouldn't have got run down, but in his defence, he hasn't raced a lot at Menangle, and he probably just got a little bit lost that last 50 yards at the big long straight. So, um, look, I think he'll be better for that run, and he's lobbed a similar race again Tuesday, so he'll probably be in the same spot, and he'll take some chasing. Race four, nicely drawn, number one explosive, Bronski, very consistent for Kerry Towers. Yeah, I think he's working back into it. He's had a spell and he always takes three or four runs to get back to good form. And I thought his last run was really good, a uh, good third. So with the barrier draw, I think it brings him right into play. And uh, yeah, he'll run a good race from that draw. Over to race six, you're drawn for two horses. Number two, no dramas for Troy Primer and three parallel, which will always be fondly remembered as your 2000th. So which way are you going there as far as the drives? Um, no, I'm going to stick with no dramas. Uh, Mum owns Parallel. She's pretty dirty on me about that. She found out at lunchtime today, so I was glad I told her after lunch she would have poisoned me. But, um, yeah, look, um, Parallel's been great also to the family, and uh, but Josh will drive him, and, and I'll drive no dramas. I thought she was really good second last week. They went 51 and a half, I think 51.8, something like that, and she, she knuckled down good. She'd be better for the run. Over to race seven, Fear the Banker for Alex Orchard and American Spirit, which is drawn the outside, the three-year-old Colt. He's going exceptionally well, but you're going with uh, Alex's horse. Yeah, um, you know, American Spirit's going great. Um, Fear the Banker's going good. Um, Alex and Alana do a super job with their team, and they've been really, you know, me and Alex are good mates, have been supportive of me for a long time, and Fear the Banker's not the easiest to get along with, so Josh is going to drive American Spirit and I'll drive Fear the Banker, but both horses are going good. The draws hurt probably the pair of them, but they're both going okay. What's the best of them, Roy? Oh, jeez. Um, probably Monty Monty if he puts his right foot forward. I think he's something out of the box if he can control himself. Uh, he'd probably be better at three. Um, he's only got two or three more runs left in this prep and he'll have a good spell and grow up a bit, so um, I, I really like Monty Monty. As always, good to catch up with you, Robbie. Thanks for having me.